You are living through a terraforming operation that's designed to alter Earth's atmosphere in order to cause global famine and mass extermination of the human race. Now, very few people are going to tell you this. Very few people are connecting the dots about the so-called climate change movement, the war on carbon, forced mass starvation, famine, depopulation, and extermination of the human race, but they're all connected. So the war on carbon is a war on humanity, and the mechanism of that war is very simple. Since you need carbon to grow food crops, you need carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And the higher the level of carbon dioxide, the more food crops are produced each season from the same amount of acreage. Understand that. I mean, this, this is the key point right here. This is why the globalists are engaged in carbon sequestration. This is why they're removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. It is in order to reduce crop yields so that they can achieve mass famine, starvation, collapse of the human race. Terraforming is the, the operation. These giant carbon sequestration machines that they are setting up, even in the Midwest, there's a giant operation. They're using eminent domain to seize farmland right now in places like uh, Iowa and Illinois. They're setting up these massive machines. It's kind of like out of that movie Oblivion with Tom Cruise and Morgan Freeman. Remember that movie, science fiction? They had giant machines from an alien race that were sucking the ocean water off planet Earth and stealing the water. It's kind of like that, except the machines that are being built right now are being built by us, human beings, to suck carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and hide that CO2 underground in a carbon sequestration format in order to make sure that world food crops fail. So understand that every person pushing the climate change narrative is demanding mass starvation every one of them whether they realize it or not that's what they're calling for is mass starvation you lower co2 levels you can't grow food crops nearly as efficiently you raise co2 you'll be able to grow more food so this is why they want to move off of fossil fuels and this is why they are shutting down the fossil fuel industry because they know that if humanity stops emitting carbon into the atmosphere, that the food crops will fail and mass starvation will bring down the global population. This is what they know. And so right now what's happening in the United States is that fuel refineries, you know, fossil fuel refinery plants are shutting down all over the place. There was a big warning from an organization called MISO, M-I-S-O. It's like the the Midwestern, uh, I forgot the name, it's like an electrical cooperative that runs the power grid in places like Illinois. And they said, yeah, we're shutting down, I mean, we're losing all these coal plants that are, they're, they're being shut down, some of them are, are becoming too old, some of them have been shut down because they've lost their licensing or, you know, they're, they're, the government won't allow them to continue to run. So they're shutting these down, and they announced that electricity in Illinois is going to go up by 54% beginning this month, June of 2022. 54% increase. Oh, and you're going to have rolling blackouts on top of that too, so there's your little bonus round right there. You get to pay 50% more and have rolling blackouts. What's not to like? But the real story on this and why they're shutting down refineries and coal operations and fossil fuels and pipelines and natural gas, why they're shutting it down it's not even just directly to try to crush the economy and make everybody, you know, thrust everybody into uh, poverty and uh, desperation and all that, although that's part of it. But the real goal is to stop the CO2 emissions because that's what will achieve global starvation. See, if they take CO2 out of the atmosphere, and the way they're going to do that, by the way, is you know, to halt emissions and then run carbon sequestration machines to pull it out of the atmosphere, then they can affect food crops worldwide. This is how they can achieve mass starvation in Africa without ever having to go to Africa because the planet shares all the same air, right? I mean, whatever you put into the air or pull out of the air in the United States is also going to get pulled out of the air. I mean, 
the, the air is all mixed up all over the planet. We share the same air, obviously. I mean, eventually, you know, the jet streams and so on, the, the air mixes up and moves around and it's all the same air. You pull CO2 out of the air in one spot, that's lowering the CO2 levels everywhere on the planet. And you know that the globalists have been trying to achieve mass starvation of Africa for a very long time, for generations, and also mass death through the vaccine. They've said CO2 is a pollutant. No, it's not. It's a nutrient. It's the world's most important nutrient, in fact, for life on Earth. Maybe you could argue that uh, O2, oxygen, perhaps that's the most important, But because you've got to breathe, but you also got to eat. The globalists are killing humanity through so many vectors. They're blocking your blood flow. They're altering the efficiency of your hemoglobin molecules which are in your red blood cells. They are attacking the food supply with the so-called war on carbon, and they've created this entire system of compliance and support from the oblivious masses who have no idea that they're taking part in the extermination of the human race. How many people are marching around to save the planet, and they're all in favor of the climate change agenda? Do they realize that they are in fact promoting an extermination agenda? Do they realize that? Because I doubt it. It's an extermination agenda. And they are cheering it on. They think it's wonderful. Because they've been brainwashed and indoctrinated and controlled. They will cheer the extermination of the human race. They will cheer the collapse of global economies. They will cheer the removal of oxygen from the atmosphere by the suppression of plant metabolism through the removal of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. They will cheer the terraforming of planet Earth even as Earth's atmosphere is being made inhospitable to human life. This is a planetary scale extinction level event. But it's all been packaged as a way to save the planet. And anyone who has gone along with this has been fooled at a level that they will probably never grasp. They think they're fighting to save Earth and they're actually fighting to completely destroy it. That's the truth about climate change, CO2, terraforming, photosynthesis, crop yields, mass starvation, global extermination. That's the truth. And that's why big tech is censoring anyone who questions the climate change official narrative because they can't have humanity waking up and realizing that they're being exterminated. They have to make sure that the sheeple, the cattle that are being destroyed, that's the human race, remain oblivious, remain blind to the reality of the great culling that is already underway. So think about the level of evil that is necessary for this war of propaganda and death and asphyxiation to be waged against the human race on a planetary scale. Think about that level of evil and ask yourself about the origins of it. Are these really human beings that are trying to mass murder the rest of the human race or is it something else? Is it something demonic? Is it something alien to our planet? Is it something multidimensional? I don't know. But it's not human. It's not rooted in human compassion or empathy or basic human love for one another. The climate change agenda is an agenda of hatred, destruction, and death. 
and every person pushing it is an agent of that death.